to the stream, aka vid, bro. These are stream clips as y'all seeing right now. Also, before we go right to it, pause, hold up. Press that like and press that subscribe button. Trying to hit that bit 10k subs, mini sub go 3k. Let's get it checked. Y'all be going crazy on the subs, man. Let's get it, bro. Let's keep it going, man. Thank y'all so much, bro, for supporting me, bro, and just, you know what I'm saying, being part of this YouTube journey, bro. Thank y'all so much. All right, man, today we're going to be using my boy 17 as he pulls him on stream, uh, second step. So, uh, let's go. Uh, bro is four stars, I think, currently right now. Is he three stars? I can't remember. Because I know I try to get him four stars. I, I can't remember, but I, I think he's four stars right here, I think. This is a four star 17, by the way. Like, you know, like four star 17, by the way. Just, just keep that in mind. Look, look, bro. He's four stars. Just imagine if I had him 14 or eight stars. Look at this. Like, look, look, look at the, the embodiment damage. Okay, it wasn't really a lot of damage, but like, just, just look how he controlled the whole match. Like, and his gauge get up so quick, bro. It's crazy. Like, dog, I'm telling you, 17 was legitimately made for my play style. Because I play aggressive. He's literally made for aggressive players. I play aggressive in Legends, bro. He's legitimately made for me. See, okay, I found my O right here. I I was just doing stuff. Like, I was, I was just doing shit. Like, that's a bad pop O. I'm like, he was 14 stars. I feel like that probably... No, no, nah, I would have done damage right there. Yeah, I probably would have defeated Future Gohan if I was 14 stars. Okay, I, I guess... Oh, yeah, I don't know why he did that, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why he did that. I, I don't know, bro. Like, I'm saying, bro, like, look... Ooh, 17! Go say 17, 17 hard, bro. He tough. He tough. He tough. He tough. He, he, he tough. Like, I... I look, look at this! Like... <laughs> Like bro, 17 is tough. I don't know why he transformed right there. I really don't. I, I don't. I don't know what bro was doing that. I think he gave up hope at that point. But bro, like 17 is so tough, chat. I'm telling y'all, bro, 17 is tough, man. He's tough. Did I get the LF here or did I just rush? Look at this. Did I just rush? I think I rushed. Yeah, I think I rushed. Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah, GG's. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, bro. 17 is best. Uh, I was actually afraid to try him out in PvP. I'm not gonna lie. I was actually low key afraid to showcase him because he's at four stars. Cause like, bro, like I'm always putting myself in like you know high rank PvP. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when I make a team or if I have a character, I'm always imagining how they gonna do in high rank PvP. And I didn't think I didn't think he was actually like this is not high rank. Like the season just started. You know what I'm saying? But like still, I'm going against some pretty good decent teams. Like these are not like trash teams. Like these are pretty good decent teams I'm going against. And I gotta say, bro, he, he performed very well. Okay, right here, I didn't want to pop his gauge, but I probably should have. Yeah, I, I probably should have popped. Oh, yeah, I dropped. Yeah, I dropped. I was, hey, I was actually going to pop the gauge, but he ended up switching out, which I kind of thought he was, so that's why I dropped a little bit. I was hoping he did. Right here, I don't know why he didn't ult. He literally had to ult. Don't know why he didn't ult me. I guess he's not used to, like, use, I, I don't know, bro. Then he did. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what he's doing, bro. I, I don't. I don't know what bro's up to at that point. Uh, bro must be a goofy bro. Like he got 17 too, just like me. I guess he just don't know the kit of 17. I don't know, bro. Um, what do I do right here? Oh yeah, this is easy money, easy ease, bro. I'm bro, bro, 17 just too good, bro. He just too good. He just too good. <laughs> too good. <laughs> what a bunch of fools. I'm saying, bro. I'm, I, I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. Now with this team here, really he should have put VB on leader. I don't know why he had UI Goku on leader. He had, I think he, I think correct me. Well, y'all can correct me. I don't think so. Well, for the people that watch the stream, I guess y'all can. Uh, like yesterday. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong. But didn't he have a full uni rep set up, right? So like, if you have a full unit rep set, like I, I don't know like why it's so hard for like certain people who don't know how to build teams. I also to clarify, I'm not trying to be rude and like that. It just. Sometimes when I'm looking at people's teams, I'm like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes when people make teams, it just, it don't make sense to me. Cause like, bro, if you have a full uni rep set up, put BB as leader and put UI Goku not as leader, that makes sense. If you have a full uni rep set up, it's just BB's not a uni rep character. So you're getting, you're getting 25% from uh, Goku ultra ability. At leader, he get the full 30%, but if he's not leader, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta like have like uni rep support, uni rep, you know, um, like you need support for the bench stuff like that you get he's basically getting 25 percent. he's missing that five percent um if you would have had him not on leader you know what i'm saying and vb would get all his ultra abilities but the fact that he's not on, on leader he don't get all his ultra abilities so i don't know it just it just i don't know it kind of bamboozled me a little bit when i seen his team on stream low-key kind of bamboozled me like i said no disrespect i'm just saying like it just i feel like 
Yeah, I don't know, bro. But it's still GG's, though, but I don't know. I was about to pop over here because I didn't know VB can come back. Cause I wasn't going to push the blue card, but I didn't know VB can come back. So if he did, if he would have switched out, VB would have got the ult instead of uh, Evil Ken. So that was his choice, and he decided to shoot e Evil Ken. And at this, at this point, bro, it was just really GG's at that point. Like, it was, yeah, I don't know why he did that either. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Bro, 17 is birthday. <laughs> And I believe this is the final match of our video. Now, this may be the toughest match I had all game. For some reason, I started off a little rocky. Not gonna cap. Don't know why. Don't know why I started off a little rocky here. Yeah, see, I wasn't I wasn't expecting him to go right away. I'm not really used to players playing aggressive. I'm normally used to me playing aggressive. Because as y'all see, like, my play style is aggressiveness. Like, most of the people I go up against are very passive. So, I wasn't ready for him to play aggressive. So, once he did that, I realized this was going to be a good match. Because I realized, okay, he, if he's going to play aggressive, then this, this is my type of game. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So, I was ready for it then at that point. I thought he was going to play passive. Because, like, most people play passive that I go up against. No disrespect, like I'm just saying, like most people do play passive, so, but he kind of didn't. So, hey, GG's. Uh, I, I really do respect that, though. Like, I, like, I really do. I respect matches. Like, I respect all my opponents, you feel me, tight ish, but I'm just saying, like, my favorite type of matches I love having is when my opponent actually play play the game. Like, I, I love that. Like, I, I love it. Like, we both initiating, we both going at it, we both trying to win. I love that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's the best type of matches for me personally. I, I, I love it. So it was still kind of throwing me off a little bit, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, it's still kind of throwing me off a little bit. Like, bro played really good. You know, okay, everybody played good too. I had to clarify, GG's to all my opponents. Everybody played phenomenal. It just, this person right here actually surprised me. Like, bro actually played really good. I'm not going to care. Good tanking by uh, Vegeta, by the way. Good tanking. A little bit, you know what I'm saying? At least he survived type shit. But, um, yeah, he, he played really good. Like, really good. Right there, I back, I backfilled because I thought he was going to go for a strike, but he didn't. So, like, he, he played really good. Like, I'm really serious. I'm not trying to glaze nothing. Like, he actually played good. Um, he actually kept me on my toes a little bit because I'm like, whoa. Like, you know, I had to lock in. Cause, like, bro, he was actually boxing low-key. Like, I was like, oh, shit. He's actually a competent player. No cap. He was actually pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. <clears throat> so, yeah, I wasn't really expecting to run into any, like, toxic, like, tryhards, like, in the beginning of the season. But I think, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I tried to catch him off. I thought he was on size, so I tried to catch him off that. Like, he played really good, bro. Really, like, really good. Like, seriously, really good. Good tank about 17 a little bit. Not going to count. Good tank about 17. That's a four-star 17, by the way. Because I think he's Gogeta with eight stars, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I could go back in the footage and check, but I don't want to. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that was a high-star Gogeta, too. High-star Gogeta, by the way. So... But yeah, that's gonna pretty much do it for today, man. I got really nothing else to say. I'm like 17 busted. Um, it's probably because he's really on feature boost right now. You know what I'm saying? That you know, cause like this is a four star 17. Like, you know, then like right there, that blue card did good. But if he was 14 stars, I would have defeated Ultra. I would have defeated uh, GB. But the fact that I was uh, only four stars, it was you know, since kind of tough. Um, so yeah, and I did have one zinc I buff on him. By the way, uh, Mega Shinron, I did have one zinc I buff on him. Um, so yeah. No, 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 I'll take it back. I'm sorry. No, not with this team. It was my, my GT team. This team, I had uh, that free to play Vegito. Uh, Red free to play Vegito on him. Zenkai buff on him. So, and his Zenkai build is not the best because he's free to play, but, you know, he's free to play unit, but still. Um, but yeah, that's going to pretty much do it for today, bro. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching. If you did reach this far in the video, thank y'all so much, man. Hope everybody have a good day, good night, wherever y'all at. Hope y'all stay safe, stay blessed. Uh, on your way out, don't forget to press that like and press that subscribe button. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, just. So go on and press that subscribe button, you know. I see you looking at it. You might as well press it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you might as well go on and press the subscribe button. You know, like, what, what's stopping you? You know, it's free. Like, <laughs> what's stopping you, my nigga? Like, what's stopping you? But no, nah, anyway, man. I'm going to get out y'all hair, bro. Y'all have a good day. Good night, wherever you at. Hope y'all stay safe, stay blessed.